This is the new BMW 1 Series. The car BMW hope will make people pay more for their small cars. Their theory is, by offering a prestige brand and the promise of a better driving experience, they're going to get people to splash out several thousand pounds more than they would for, say, an Astra or a Focus of the same size and power. So the big question is, is it worth it? This is a BMW and therefore it's rear wheel drive. Now if you believe all the PR and marketing blurb, that should make it a sporting drive, far better handling, more fun. But in reality, most of us will use these cars to drive into town, to go up and down the dual carriageway. We won't even feel the benefit of rear wheel drive car compared with front wheel drive car. It's true that on the limits, the rear wheel drive does make it more dynamic and less compromised than its front drive rivals. But in normal driving, you wouldn't say it was leagues ahead, even in this, the most powerful two litre diesel with optional sports suspension. I'm not knocking the one series, far from it. I'm building it up. The thing that makes this car great is the way everything works together. The seating position is perfect, the pedals are nicely weighted, the gear shift is slick and precise. Like move, albeit it is a little bit heavy when you're trying to park the car in town. I'm also a big fan of the interior, which true to Bavarian form is focused around the driver. Everything is very tactile, very simple, and as you'd expect, it all feels very well built. I also like how BMW have made their hatchback look a little unconventional, with its plethora of sharp creases, scoops, angles and short overhangs. But it's not all good news. Now there is a problem with it being rear wheel drive. The transmission tunnel and the rear drivetrain take up valuable space in the rear and legroom well, to say the least, is very cramped. Also, the boot is a little bit on the small side. Small or not, you still have to pay for the privilege of BMW ownership. This two-litre diesel sport model you see here is, he's sitting down, £21,000. And even if you go for the cheapest version, the 1.6 petrol, you'll still have to find over fifteen and a half grand. And for that, the misers won't give you air conditioning or even alloy wheels. Now, cash, you could take your pick from a wide range of lavishly equipped rivals. No matter how expensive, poorly equipped or slightly impractical it is, the 1 Series has something the likes of Focus, Astra and Megane can't match. That's BMW's premium. The Golf isn't the icon it used to be. In fact, the only car I can think of that offers similar compact prestige is the Audi A3 Sportback. With so few competitors, things are looking bright for BMW. Personally, I think the BMW 1 Series will be a huge success. It's a cracking drive, and furthermore, very much a BMW. My only reservation is, the base model with no toys is very strong money. Will it be too expensive? Well, only time will tell, I suppose.